welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Ollie. I'm a writer. I'm currently working on my first novel, which is an epic science fantasy story called Echo's Reach. So today is very simple. I'm not going to beat around the bush. I just need to do loads of writing. And as I said in the last video, I've set myself a goal of finishing the first draft of this book by the 30th of November. Now, this is not the first <laughs> um, deadline I've set myself, but it is one I am absolutely determined to meet because I haven't met any of the other ones and I just have to meet this one because I just have to get this first draft done. I've just got to get the words down and then I've got something to work on basically, right? It's that whole idea of you've got to mine the rock from the rock face before you're able to like chisel out the, the sculpture. You know, if you're a writer, we all know these metaphors, uh, but I just have to do it now, you know, metaphors aside. Now, luckily I am most of the way there. I'm getting towards 60,000 words, which is good, but I'm starting to feel that familiar kind of tickle in my brain of, oh, this routine was nice for about a week. Now it's time to drop it and move on to the next thing, whether you want to or not. And I just can't allow that to happen. So I have to inject some, you know, new juice into this routine by just doing a massive writing sprint, basically. I have managed to do a bit of writing every day since the last video, which is good. That's fine. That's like the bare minimum, really, I should be doing. But Today I need to do more than the bare minimum. So I want to try and do at least a couple thousand words. 1,500 at the, at the minimum, but at least a couple of thousand words. And the good news is my freelance work is drying up almost completely. So to avoid myself from panicking, <laughs> I'm going to dedicate most of today to just writing this book. Because that's what I want to be doing anyway, right? And to be completely honest, I am feeling pretty panicked about my day-to-day, -day, pay the bills, work. So um, I'm just not going to think about it for a couple of hours and do my own creative work. So yeah, not great career or financial advice for anyone else out there, but that's what I'm going to do. On a uh, unrelated note, I'm actually having an ADHD assessment next week. So yeah, I think that checks out. <laughs> the good news for my general productivity and my enthusiasm for the story is that I've gotten past this really difficult bit uh, which I was stuck on for quite a while. And now I get to do one of those really satisfying parts where I'm really moving the story forwards. And I'm actually about to start working on a character that I've been looking forward to working on for ages. It's a character I've like had in my head literally for like four or five years, or in some ways even more because it's based on an old character of mine uh, from a different story. And I've just sort of developed the character in my head over all this time. And in a way, it's one of the things this story is entirely revolving around. This character is just, I think, going to be really fun to write. It's one of those characters which could potentially go really wrong if I don't do it properly, but because it's been sort of percolating in my head for so long, I feel like I have a good chance of, like, doing it, this character in an interesting way. I know that's all sounding really vague, but obviously I don't want to give anything away in case some of you ever read it. So yeah, I mean, not much more to say other than I just need to get writing, really. If you watch my other videos, you'll know that I do like to get out of the house to do writing. Uh, it just sort of gets my brain going, and I just like being around random strangers and stealing their conversations to put in a book. But yeah, the weather's just really bad today, so I'm not sure I'm going to do that. Maybe I will. We'll see how it goes. I don't know, it's raining so much outside, it kind of feels nice and cosy in here. So this is like a nice, cosy writing vlog. Hold on, let me get all ASMR. Join me for a lovely, cosy writing vlog here at my desk with my typewriter, my lovely notebook, my model Borg Queen ship, the most relaxing of all the Borg ships. Yeah, maybe not. If you haven't noticed, I'm feeling slightly manic today. I got up at like 5 a.m. for some reason, and I'm worried that being this manic will mean I'm going to crash in a couple of hours time. I've actually been getting up quite early recently and doing a bit of writing in the morning, and that's what I've been doing this week. Okay, it's quite early again. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. I don't know what's happened to it. That's <laughs> yeah, quite early again. I'm going to go and do a bit of writing before I have to get up properly. It's quite nice doing writing the moment I get up before I actually start the day properly. <clears throat> it is um, quite early in the morning, so I'm speaking quite quietly. Because Rosie's still asleep. But I'm just trying to get some writing done before the day starts. So, I'm going to see if I can get my word count done before the day even begins. Anyone else that uses Scrivener out there, 
can you give me some advice? Because I've noticed that my daily word count sometimes doesn't reset at the beginning of a new session. It seems to happen whenever I've used the iOS version of Scrivener before using this one. So the last time I used Scrivener was yesterday and that was on my iPad um, and it's all synced and everything. So I'm not sure why that is, but yeah, technical question. If anyone out there knows, please let me know because I've Googled it and I can't find an answer. So and it's really nice to actually start the day feeling like you've done something, you know, you've put work towards the thing you want to complete for yourself. But I got up just a little bit too early today and then I was like, yeah, great. Like I'm going to do a couple of hours of work and it's going to be great. And so I got up. I made some coffee, I sat in front of the computer and I literally stared at the wall for God knows how long. Could be two minutes, could be an hour and a half, who knows? So yeah, I didn't exactly get everything I could have done, done, which is why I just feel like I need to focus. I just have to go and get it done now. So let's do some writing. I'm actually really looking forward to this bit. So, so let's go. Yeah, so I decided I will go out and do a bit of work. It's always nice to do that. So yeah. smells like autumn you know what I mean I'm happy with what I've done I'm just not sure if I've done as much as I wanted to really um, it would have been good to do more um, it's always good to do more but yeah I've at least met my word count goal for the day which is good not quite 2,000 words though or whatever it said I was gonna do <laughs> maybe that was too ambitious but no I did I did what I needed to do so that's good and I'll see you back in the house now hi now it's tomorrow. Remember earlier in the video when I said I was worried I might crash because I got up so early? Yeah, that, that did happen. But I did actually manage to do quite a bit of writing. I actually did a few hundred words over my goal for the day, which is great. And actually this has been happening most days this week. So I'm well on track to have the, uh, have the book finished by the end of November. Uh, I feel like I'm cursing it every time I say that. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep working. I'm gonna try and keep up the pace because it's going pretty well, I think. It is interesting though, because in the story, throughout the story, I have these points in my head, which I know are going to happen. They're like waypoints. And I know, okay, this is going to happen here. And then a couple of chapters later, this is going to happen. And then this is how it's going to end. It's just the bits in between, which I'm a bit foggy on, especially in this last quarter of the story or so, because it's the bit I've thought about the least. You know, I thought about the beginning for ages and I spent ages writing it. And now it's kind of that last stretch where I'm sort of figuring out how to get to those points. But it is interesting because I'm in one of those points at the moment. And every time I sit down to write, once I get in the zone and once I get in the flow of it, if I get in the flow of it, it's interesting how it kind of works itself out. So today, for example, I did several hundred words over my goal for the day, which is really good. But I wrote in this whole scene, which I'd never even thought about, and this whole new sort of place in the world that I'm writing in, new sort of characteristics of these particular people and I think it's good like it's it's fitting in with my general plan and it's hopefully making it richer and more interesting but I am wondering how that's going to affect the overall word count goal of 80,000 words you know I'm rapidly closing in on 60,000 words and I can't help feeling I'm going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> it might go up to 85, 90,000 words. I don't know. I'm not too worried about the word count. It's kind of a semi-arbitrary kind of number to have as sort of a goal to head towards anyway, just to keep me going. But it is interesting. I do wonder how long this book's actually going to be. If you're watching this on the day that I uploaded it, or maybe the day after, you should still have time to go and listen to the interview I did with the BBC about my writing. I've put a link to it in the comments just below. It's on BBC Sounds, but if you have missed that and it's not on BBC Sounds anymore, I am going to be uploading it to my YouTube channel pretty soon. Keep an eye out for that. I think I'm going to do some typing soon on the trusty typewriter. Stick around for that. It's very asmr -y, maybe. We'll see. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment and say hi. Let me know how your writing's going. And subscribe for more videos. Uh, they're going to be coming thick and fast, maybe. Thanks for watching, everyone. And see you again soon. Bye.